Greetings, fellow humans. This is Pat Callahan uh, from All White Tukey. You're listening to another great podcast on the Fluoride Radio Network. Yeah. <laughs> this world needs a hero. It needs a savior. A white light. A beacon in the sun. Or just someone to draw some logos. If you're looking for someone to do design work, illustration work, and to help improve your business's look and design, contact Raven Designs at ravencruise.com. She's one of the proud sponsors of the Four Eyed Radio Network, and her artwork is amazing. Action. We're back. We um, we are back. Yeah. Um, it was my birthday, y'all. I I got more wrinkles, so that's why we kind of took a little sabbatical. Took a little hiatus. Um, but you guys are used to that by now. Um, last yeah. week I actually um was part of the pilot episode for a new show on the Fern Network, uh, Jedi, a Sith, and an Ewok. Um, it's awesome. if you don't know what any of those things reference to then sorry but it is a star wars podcast that is now on our radio network uh it went really well i'm excited for the future of that cast and i'm also excited about the future of this cast noodle as always it's good to see you good to see you it's been a little difficult because i've had face herpes but um I'm, I'm, it's better. Yeah, you look good. Your yeah. skin looks really nice, actually. Really? Cause, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like it's an abomination right now. Yeah. You got that glow to you. See, I don't know. and that's what people say. Like, there's going to be a glow. You're going to look so great. I'm like, when does this happen? Because <laughs> I feel like I look like Oscar the Grouch, and I feel like I just came out of a garbage can. Like my, I, I feel like I'm hungover every day. But you're not, cause and I feel like I look hungover every day. Yeah, cause all I do is sleep. Um, have you had a chance to head up the doctor sauce yet? Yes, I I did um have to basically hold them at gunpoint and force them to give me an ultrasound. How is everything <laughs> looking? Uh, well, interesting news. Yeah. Um, it is. A beautiful, gorgeous glob that is only six weeks. Okay. That's really surprising, but yeah. that's good, though. Well. Because you were worried about how far along drugs. you could be and what uh, things, extracurriculars you may have been partaking in. Yes. So you're six weeks along. So you're s- what in the, you're still in the first trimester, but yeah. you're at like the middle of that or middle the end? yeah okay. middle because so. every trimester is 13 weeks okay and uh yeah so well I was I was kind of I'm a little nervous I mean I she wants me to come back in two weeks which is kind of a little alarming because yeah. I feel like that's kind of a really close but um she said the heartbeat was a little slow okay but that's normal for from five to six weeks okay However, I was calculating it, and five to six or six weeks seems just a little too early. I, so basically, Thing my is, concern is think about when your last cycle was. You have to go two weeks from there as to when you were ovulating. Yeah. So that'd be like January 10th. Yeah. So, or we need a calendar. Yeah. But basically, six weeks from um, when I found out was January 27th. And I th- could have sworn I was at least 11 t- weeks pregnant. So basically, I feel like my ch- thing in there is 
taking its sweet ass time and just like delaying. I don't know. It's well, actually, I I have my um calendar on my iPhone in front of me right now, and um, so if we go, oh, I want to. There we go. That's how I don't know how to use this thing. Still, after a year. Um, so one to two weeks would have been like the ninth of January. So then the following week, between the ninth and the sixteenth, you could, could have, have potentially been ovulating. So if you did get pregnant in that time, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but no. Um, from what I'm looking at, like, yeah, it could make sense because. A lot of women, too, depending on their cycle, not everybody starts their ovulation exactly two weeks after their cycle. Not everybody has a 28-day cycle. Yeah. And so on and so forth. So, I mean, it, it looks like it makes sense. To, yeah. I feel like yeah. I'm definitely having a Bob Marley baby where it's just like super <laughs> slow and delayed. Well, I mean, I just feel like it should be older than that. And, well, we'll see if in two weeks when I go back and it hasn't gotten any bigger. Yeah, then it's basically just a matter of time for the heartbeat to stop and I get to eat a meatball sandwich, a baby meatball sandwich. <sighs> that sounds disgusting. Good for you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll see. If whatever happens, happens. Right. It's true. One of those. One of those. One of those things. Roll it out. Yeah. yeah. See what what's going on. How the crookie crumble. Crookie cookie cookie crumbles. Crookie. How the Wookiee crumbles. And, I don't know. <laughs> Wookiees should never crumble. I think they just shed a lot. That's um, actually really funny that you said that because someone just posted a Wookiee cookie. Ah, oh, so ooh. I posted that on the. Uh, Fuck the, yeah. The thing. I would eat Wookiee cookies. Um, that's actually one of my earliest memories of Star Wars. Hairball. If you want to know anything about that, tune in to the first episode of A Jedi Isis and an Ewok. Bye. Um, how have you been, my dear? I have had an interesting, um, little time. So, you know a little bit about this, but our listeners don't. Okay. Um, so Natalie is aware that I, and you guys, listeners, know a little bit about how I just moved into a new place and it's been pretty awesome, but my neighbors living next door to me, Seemed a little on the sketch ball side. On the meth ball side. On the meth ball side of sketchy at that as yeah. well. And I had found out after talking with our handyman who honestly is almost, he almost feels like he's my uncle now or something because he's a really cool dude. And when I do see him, we talk and we've been talking a lot since this last event so I found out through him that they were being asked to move out. And um, that evening, I come home from work, and I, I was kind of counting down the days until the end of February because I was really excited to not be woken up at 7 in the morning or prior to 7 in the morning to their arguments and whatever the hell was going on next door. And I get home from work at about 6 p.m. Downstairs windows wide open. One of the doors isn't completely shut. Like, I could have crawled in and, like, walked around there if I wanted to. Um, come home from dinner with my friend. The place still looks the same. And I go to sleep for a while. At 2 in the morning, I wake up. Thank goodness. And... They set the place on fire. Um, so I've been living at my parents' place. Because <laughs> wow. my place is unable to live in right now. Yeah. Um, so how's that? Like, everything, how's living at the rentals? It's been interesting. We've only had like two arguments. And it's basically <laughs> been... Good. And it's, we're going on week two now of me oh. being back there. Okay. But the arguments that have been had have been, okay, like the morning immediately after where my mom starts talking about like possible lawsuit scenarios and I'm like, 
I don't want to fucking talk about suing people. I want to figure out when I can move back into yeah. my place or like if all of my personal possessions I need to throw out or yeah. this, that, and the other thing. And then the second argument was earlier this week and it was basically the same thing. Like I had gotten an email from the property management company and they let me know that I won't be able to move back in at the end of the month. And I was a little frustrated by that because I'm like, well, shit, the housing market is totally different than it was when I moved in there. Yeah. I don't know if, am I going to have to find a roommate again? Am I going to have to move? Like, when are things going to, like, not having a date of, like, oh, you can when, stop living with your parents after this date, like, sort of thing. Yeah. was kind of stressful. And yeah. I just wanted to vent about it a bit, talk about it a little bit. And, again, the, like, lawsuit thing comes up. And I, luckily, I, I went over to the place like after that little argument and um because I basically was like I don't want to talk about that yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out At like least that isn't my next step yeah is so happy yeah I, my I, next thank step you, is Aaron. where thank am you. I gonna live and yeah maybe after I figure out like oh I can live here again or I have to move somewhere else maybe after everything settles a bit I could look into legal things and see what am I um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, what are you accounted for? What am I, um, not accounted for, not but accounted. I am a victim is in this situation, which I don't like being a victim ever. Yeah. And I'm never, I've never been an individual to play victim. Yeah. So having to look at this scenario and accept the fact that like, yes, I am a victim in this situation. Um, but uh, just looking at like what are my rights as a renter and what am I entitled to as this process continues. Um, but then I spoke to Rob, the handyman, yay. And um, he shed a little more light on to the situation. So that's cool. Okay. Because, um, yes, I did not start the fire. Thank you, Billy Joel, for understanding. Yeah. Um, we didn't start it. We did not start the fire. And innocent head. until proven guilty, whatever. It I'm was great. Pretty sure the meth <laughs> no, heads did it. Yeah. And um, turns out, turns out, oh, weird. Weird. Um, turns out the individuals that were asked to leave the property, they weren't the individuals that the lease Belonged was. To two. So the individual whose name is on the lease decided to sublet it out to these oh, individuals, yeah. which when I signed my lease, that is against the lease agreement. So this individual is uh, in for a very rude awakening because yeah. he's going to be held accountable for damages and all sorts of things. Fuck. Um, I guess the cops have interviewed the two individuals in question who were living in the property, they've brought their smoke dogs. The smoke dogs definitely picked up a scent of accelerant and things on these individuals. So those clothing items have been confiscated and they're running tests on them. So if they don't get charged for starting the fire, um, they're definitely going to be included as like accomplices or, you know, allowing it to happen. Hmm. Or something, like, at least assisting it. Yeah. So, um, but on the bright side of it, hopefully mid-April at the latest is when okay. I could move back. And basically what they've done with the insurance claim is they're going to gut my entire place. And just start anew. And just start anew. So That's awesome. New kitchen appliances. They have to build a new bathroom. They're going to replace the flooring, the drywalls. So basically, I'm going to move into a brand, a brand new, new place. place. Which is pretty awesome. That is awesome. So and not have to pay rent for... For this month, I haven't had to pay for March. I'm sure that if they move me in in the middle of April, they'll at least prorate it or give or me the month free. Have to. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to push them to give me the month for free. Oh, hell yeah. Because fuck yeah. So, and I mean, I have a really affordable rate for a great location and then to move into that same place, but it's brand new. 
and no so crazy there is, neighbors. There is a silver lining. It's just been kind of shitty. Um, the fact the, that everything I own reeks of house fire. Yeah. I love how campfire smells. House fire is a different beast. Yeah, that's a completely different stanch. Yeah. So, oh, speaking of stench, like we were at Walgreens <laughs> the other day downtown where I feel like stenches there are just newly invented every day. <laughs> it's like a stench factory. Oh my gosh, seriously. And th- this woman I'm sitting on the floor reading a magazine, minding my own business and this lady that basically looked like she was from Woodstock and I mean don't get me wrong like Woodstock awesome but it looks like she was at Woodstock and is still wearing the same clothes Clothes from from Woodstock (gasps) and boy howdy fucking and we're talking reeked original woodstock not yeah yeah. i'm talking like the 60s yeah 70s whenever it was i don't really summer love i think it was like 69 but uh shit that smell like haunts me it went oh my god it's the worst is when there smells like that and you don't know you don't only smell it you're tasting it yeah well, I mean, this smell, you know, like, there's something wrong with her. And whatever yeah. it is, she's dying from it. And, like, hepatitis. Maybe. Hepatitis. I mean, um, raunchy asshole. Uh, yeah. Holy. I have n- I had never smelled. I mean, I literally, like, literally. 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 Like, literally. For cereal, you guys. Like, you guys for like all. milk and cereal, you oh, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> but, um. Are you doing your Al Gore impression? Maybe. I don't know. Global oh, yeah. warming is a threat. I invented the lockbox and the internet. <laughs> uh, that was uh, him from South Park. He was like, it's super serious, guys. Oh, oh that's so a good serious. one. Oh. Yeah. I just like saying that things are really serial. Super serial. It's real serial, you guys. Milk it. Right? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, I just had to bring it up because it was so outrageously bad. I want her Ugh. to be studied. I don't know how that... And it's weird, too, because, like, you know, to her, she can't smell she it anymore. She doesn't really. She yeah. doesn't smell it anymore. Yeah. And it's, it makes, and I'm, I'm, I'm troubled by people that have bad breath. It's like, how do you not no. know that you have bad breath? It's right... The stench is coming from right under your nose. It's interesting because I feel some individuals have a super heightened awareness of their own body odors. Yeah. And other individuals have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Um, I, just, I had a former roommate who she felt like she constantly smelled like Indian food. Food tang. Okay. Or like she just felt like she always smelt like roasted garlic or something, which I like that smell. But yeah, maybe I guess like she just always felt like she stank. And okay, yeah, I, yeah. And uh, I thought I that smelled was interesting because like, I mean, yeah, maybe if like her and I got back from being on a run or something, I'd be like, yeah, I can smell you. But like, she'd be like, I I just took a shower and I barely washed dishes and I fucking smell again. And I'm like, no, you don't. But well, yeah, when she she sticks her nose like inside when of her you stick armpit, it in your armpit, yeah. yeah, you're gonna smell something. Yeah, like you're snorting your armpit. Yeah, of course. Like, but you're huffing your own stench. Uh, but you know what? I wish more people were like her. <laughs> oh, yeah. In that in that aspect. And that's one thing that has even been shown with animals. You can tell that an animal is not well when they aren't grooming themselves. Yeah. And it goes to show the same for people. Oh, yeah. If somebody is... Crapping their pants. Yeah, and not or bathing or not, like, taking care of their own hygiene, then shit's, something either mentally or physically is wrong. Shit's going down. Yeah. Shit's getting stanky. The wheels are have come off the wagon. And That's they... <laughs> derailed right into shit's creek. Shit's And they've been mountain. double bathing in that. Yeah, yeah, 
It was intense. Oh, shit bubbles. That sounds so gross. A shit bubble. <laughs> shit bubble bath. It really was. It, that's what it smelled like. She'd been bubble bathing in shit. <laughs> bubble bath. It was just gnarly town. Ugh. I can't even imagine. Like, okay, sorry. Oh, God. And, like, it sucks when, like, if you're on public transit. Duh. And... The whole it's train. It's a crowded day on public transit, and you get sandwiched in between people who have been shit bathing. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh God. Yeah. It is. So you know, folks, please clean, wash it down, clean it up. Come yeah. On. You know. And if you don't have a clean pair of underwear, at least turn it inside turn out. Turn it inside out, or run you it know, through the the, the sink, the hose, or something. Yeah. Something. You know, just. Rub if you some can't bubble gum on it. Sank, maybe somebody else can. Yeah. I mean, ask your ask your neighbors. You can be tell them yeah. you're being a good Samaritan. If you if they think you're stinky, they should voice it. Yeah, exactly. Which, I mean, and you know, we need hands, to talk to each other. I more. should probably bathe more. Actually, I definitely need to shave my armpits. But yeah, I'm with you there. But you know I what? Mean, I need to sometimes get down. I don't want to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. And sometimes yeah. I feel like I wish I lived in Europe. Oh, wait. Yeah. But, um, any hoofles. Yeah. So, so, well, I mean, at least you're going to have a badass new place. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing. Like, I'm hoping that it is early April if they come back to me in a few more weeks and they're like, you'll be the first hey. one to destroy it. So yeah. that's cool. Um, that's <laughs> actually something I was thinking about. I was like, Oh fuck, I need to like really take care of yeah. it. Cause it's not like you can blame it on the past. Yeah. I'm like, Tenet. Oh shit. This is all me. But, uh, yeah, my thing is, is I'm thinking now it's like a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Um, if, they come back to me in a few weeks and they're like, hey, this isn't going to happen until like late May. Then I'm going to figure something else out because I'm very, I'm very fortunate and very lucky <laughs> to have. Erin just gave her a, herself a mouthful of foam from the microphone. Um, phone. I'm very fortunate and lucky to. Oh, it's good now. Um, that I have my parents and that they yeah. are the parents that they are and that they have been able to give me a place to stay during this time. For sure. Um, if my parents weren't here or if they were like, Psh, figure it the fuck out. Um, luckily, I, I, I did have a lot of friends respond to it and yeah. let me know that I have a place. Um, so I'm very lucky in that sense. Like, I, I'm not forced to, like, live in my car or – and I'm sure, too, like, if that was where – came down to that the property management company would be um responsible for putting me up somewhere because yeah. I think that's part of tenant rights. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't I, it I don't know. Um I also just switched car insurance companies and no longer have renters insurance, so that kind of sucks. Well, I mean too with that insurance there is a $500 deductible and it's like, well, who has 500? Or maybe with the apartment be well, responsible for my the stuff is um, as far as my personal property, there's smoke damage. Yeah, um, probably gonna have to get rid of my mattress. Don't know about like my couch if I'm gonna oh, be yeah. able to get all that smell out of that. I know I spent three hundred dollars at the Goodwill on my mattress set, so that's half yeah. of a five hundred deductible right there. My what? couch. I think was under two hundred dollars, but they don't need to know that. Well, I think as you have to pay five hundred dollars first, right, and then anything over that they reimburse you for. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, I don't know because the last time so I had maybe, renters insurance and oh no, because they had a minimum. The minimum maybe, had to meet the deductible. But maybe you can get the homeowners to pay for that deductible. Yeah. We'll see. But I don't have renter's insurance, so. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, right. It's kind of null and void. But, yeah, um, I'm really fortunate in this situation that, in the sense, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. And it only yeah, is what seriously. it is. And it looks like I'm going to come out on top in the end, hopefully. I think so. I just really hope it doesn't last longer than a few more weeks. Yeah. Hootalali. lolly. Yeah. And I mean, my, my parents are pretty cool. So like things have yeah. been good. Um, it's just really the commute that it's, sucks. Yeah, it's so far. I'm so far. 
Yishka. Yeah. But, I mean, it's it's good. I just really hope that they catch the individuals responsible and that they... Um, yeah. I mean, it's really hard. Like, fire forensics is yeah. super hard. Like, they, they're so behind on on any of that shit. So, I mean, it's... it's yeah, and even um, the Tempe Fire Department has been through and concluded their, or I don't think they've even concluded their investigation, but even um, property management, they've even brought in, in a private fire analysis company to do another investigation. And I met him on Monday when I was over at the place. And um, he asked me some questions and he thinks more than one fire was lit. He can tell that there was definitely one set in the kitchen sink, which is where that photo I sent you came from. With yeah. Like my, my, right, the right. other half. Cause like our place was basically mirrored images right. of each other. Um, it looks like another fire was set on the stairs and possibly another one in the hallway upstairs. So you think it was foul play. You don't think it was just like, a happen chance fire you think that they set it on fire well they found accelerant so the fire was set the thing is is that the place was left the place was left in a state where i even i even thought about climbing in through the open window cuz windows wide open no screens on them one of the doors wasn't completely shut like you could have opened the fucking door and walked right in. Mm -hmm. I jokingly thought, like jokingly said, but actually thought about like climbing in through the window and just taking a look around to see like how badly they fucked up the place. Yeah. Cause from what I saw, like it looked pretty hit. Um, so they left it in a state where anybody could have decided to come in. Yeah. 